Hi, this is Mr. Nordwick. I teach here on campus and wanted to share some insights regarding two fine art electives. That's me on the lower right and my sweet Annie above me in her chair. When I'm not eating cheesecake or taking costumed pictures of this girl for animal rescue, I teach humanities and film appreciation. And yes, this is a shameless plug for these courses, which I dearly love. And I hope you'll consider taking one or both with me this fall. Here we go. Humanities. Humanities is designed to develop an awareness and basic understanding of the arts. Students explore artistic periods in order to better appreciate the function of art in society. I like to think of this elective class as art history light. We look into periods in time and explore things like theater, art, sculpture, fashion, and architecture, all as it relates to a group of people that wanted to make their mark on the planet. And each time we look at these past contributions, we connect these elements to today's culture. Humanities is also a support for all your other classes. For example, in language arts, you read Shakespeare plays. Humanities explains and showcases the world of the Renaissance, which in turn gives your play reading context and therefore a more meaningful experience in your literature class. We study eight eras in Western civilization. Starting from the top at 12 o'clock, and with Annie's help to illustrate them, we cover the ancient Greeks, Romans, medieval times, Renaissance, Baroque, Rococo, 19th century romance, and 20th century modern art periods. In addition to these eras, humanities covers practical things like dining etiquette, formal wear, and even how to use color in the basic design that surrounds you. The goal of the course is to prepare the student for both the business world environment and help develop a sense of personal taste. Though the class is lecture-based, we tend to take small reflective tests on the material. These are generally open note. There is nothing in the class review that is meant to trick or surprise you. It's a welcoming art experience. We sometimes have projects like a yearly jack-o'-lantern design that actually explores the process of constructing non-traditional art. This becomes a segue to connect with artists like Picasso, where bent bodies and faces are split in two. Finally, an understanding how seemingly crazy modern art becomes beautiful. A good deal of the class is used in viewing material like plays, tours, dancing, and films that help showcase each period. Very often, after taking humanities, students go on to take traditional fine art courses as they become familiar with the fine arts. This is a class that allows the student to meet their fine art requirement in an academic setting, as not everyone desires to perform in front of an audience, but it's also available to those students who are already involved in the arts. As we are one of the only schools in California to offer this course, Humanities is an extremely attractive transcript grade. It meets the fine art requirement for graduation, the UC fine art system, and the NCAA social science requirement. The course is open to any junior and senior student this fall. Next, film appreciation. When you study the cinema, you train your mind to study people through physical gestures and words. In addition, your perspective on social issues and culture is changed forever. It opens your eyes to certain truths. Once you begin to study these themes, the job's a snap, and you automatically begin to see them in other media images like commercials, television, and music videos. Film appreciation is designed to develop an awareness and basic understanding of cinema. Our study focuses on major developments in the motion picture industry. Films viewed in class range from various periods, genres, directors, and performers revealing much about the time and people that made them. Students explore films to observe, analyze, and better appreciate the function of this art in society. In addition to viewing almost 40 films, 
We sometimes have small film projects to appreciate the technical and creative process. This includes taking creative snapshots to learn about composition. There's no special equipment to buy as we work with our own cell phones. And here is an extending thought about the course. There is not a job anymore that doesn't rely on visual communication in some way, be it presentations or advertising. We are part of a visual culture. Our private lives are consumed with viewing and producing content for online entertainment. But the reality is, with thousands of images we see weekly, the vast majority of content is poorly executed. In order to pull focus, we need a heightened sense of what makes visual imagery strong. Film appreciation is enjoyable purely for the person that wants to get lost in the fantasy of story, but it also is a course that develops an artistic eye for visual content as it develops the student's ability to analyze images quickly. What I love about film is that it is a faster process of analysis than any other form of educational content. We consume it fast, and it has the ability to teach us how to apply this quickened analytical process to other forms of education. Studying film allows you to see things the average moviegoer wouldn't pay attention to. Symbolism, metaphor, parallels between the characters. It'll make you appreciate the good film or theater production or television show even more as you will be aware of what must be present in a well-made production. So come time travel with me as we go into cinema and explore the blend of story and technical achievements in an art form that is just over a hundred years old since perfected. Film appreciation is open to any junior and senior student and meets the fine art requirement for graduation as well as the fine art requirement for the UC system. The arts are a way to enrich your life and exploring electives in high school is the way to go as it's the last time in a person's life that education is free. Thanks for your attention and I hope to see you in the fall.